So, um, for Turkish Cypriots, what are the rules for voting on the Greek side? Um, on paper, we are citizens of the Republic of Cyprus, but we are not able to vote unless we have a residency and address uh, in the south. If that's election in the Cyprus, it's also our election, mm. but we're not allowed to vote. Okay. So, we just vote. I think if you're living in, in the south, you can vote, but you have to be living. Yes, there, but there's there's a there's a freedom of uh, uh, what is called. A, I'm free to live wherever I want. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. I would I would I'd rather vote. There, there are lots of Turkish Cypriots who, I mean, in many ways, they they, they still have quote unquote strings attached to the south in terms, of, for example, those who are on. Um, National Health Service and social insurance and all that stuff. How much are you following the elections on the Greek side? Uh, actually not much because uh, I was busy the last few weeks but I know some about like uh, it's going to be next Sunday and then we hope who is going to be win does will be nice better for the Cyprus solution. Are you following the elections that are coming up on the Greek side? Yes I do, yes I do. Actually I don't, I have no idea about it. As much as I can, I should say. I mean, I, I can't sort of put a sort of a scale to it. Most of the Serb Turkish Cypriots, elderly, like after 60, 65 years old generation, now they follow it much more. The younger ones, not so much. The younger ones, not. They don't care anything. <laughs> Otherwise, they would be interested, but there are more vital, fundamental issues in daily life, like electricity cuts and. Uh, um, like many structural issues. So you're in, in, in the north and you're dealing with the, suddenly your power is cut, you have no power. I mean, would you be thinking about uh, the, uh, when the, the power is going to be resumed or would you be thinking about the, uh, the elections? Εσείς πώς ασχολείστε με τις εκλογές? Αρκετά ασχολούμε με τις εκλογές, ενδιαφέρει με να ξέρω ποιες είναι οι επιλογές υποψηφίων και γιατί. Δηλαδή αλλάξει οτιδήποτε? Όχι φυσικά, διότι με τις επιλογές που έχουμε είναι και όσο από τους τρεις υποψηφίους είναι ο λίγο καλύτερος. I think the favorite one is going to win this race. Fundamentally, whoever comes will be following a neoliberal economic uh, path so there won't be a fundamental change but there, depending on who wins maybe some gaps of cracks could be opened that they could be used from bottom up to make a greater change in terms of the cyprus problem as well exactly yes in terms of the cyprus so there is some some difference depending on who wins i mean there is something at stake yes some breathing spaces could be provided by some and by some others they would could be suffocated altogether they say that this one is the same with the other one mm. uh, who is going not to negotiate with the turkish people yeah so he, he is not our favorite one but he's probably going to win mm -hmm. you think? yes yes so this country, this island, let's say, this island is the cursed part of the Mediterranean, let's say. The both side has, doesn't have the differences between the fascist ideology and thoughts. That's why we're not, we're not gonna be further about the bicommunal things. Uh, yeah. It's not gonna be good, I guess. But I hope, I hope, I have many Greek friends, I'm not a fascist. Uh, I've been there, I'm going every, every time, I see my friends. It's my country as well, even though I don't have rights, but yeah. Um, but I'm not happy with it, I'm not happy with the future. And, and, not, and not optimistic? Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not optimistic, yeah. I, I hope one day everything's gonna be better than this one, I hope. <laughs>